Hi everyone, welcome in a new Stevens Week, the weekly update on marketing and technology. Welcome to this new episode. SpaceX is moving forward with their Starlink project. And this is a project where SpaceX wants to launch their own satellites uh, to improve the broadband connectivity around the world. Um, in one of the next few months, they're going to launch the first 60 of these small satellites to go in low orbit around the world. And their estimation is that by 2020, they will be able to launch the Starlink project when they have about 800 satellites in outer space. Uh, and the end goal is to have 12,000 of those satellites to make sure that all over the world we have good broadband access. Um, so this is, of course, really interesting to see how telcos will deal with this. It's also a question what the business model of SpaceX will be. Um, but it is a new way of communication that is being launched and that we're going to see the effects of in about one year from now. Last week, we had the IPO of Uber, a very promising uh, company, of course, going to the stock market. At the beginning, the stock dropped a little bit. This week, it bounced back. So we're going to see how it evolves. Uh, what was interesting is that the CEO of Uber mentioned that the most important growth will come from Uber Eats food delivery. Uh, they believe that this will become an as big market or even a bigger market than the car sharing and the car mobility offers that they have. Uh, only question, of course, is how will they get the same level of market share as they have with their uh, mobility services? Because in food delivery, there's quite some competition. Uh, many players are, are bouncing on the door of that. Um, but again, last week I was in China, as you know, and, and there you see that everybody is ordering food and the amount of little motorcycles that are just racing across the streets with their food and their little bags that they're delivering is just insane. So I can imagine that this market is still set to explode in Europe and in the US. And if Uber can get a really big part of that pie, that would be really interesting for them. It's a huge market. And of course, it's also a more profitable segment. So let's see how this goes. But it was interesting to see how they're already putting their, their, their eyes on this new segment that they want to grow. Google is moving to a new phase with their Google Assistant. What they're going to do is, um, like with your Google Home, is they're going to put the AI in the device so it's no longer going to be activated from the cloud. And this should make the machine like 10 times faster than it is today. Um, the, the, let's say, average speed of the, current, of the current devices is sometimes causing frictions among users. So this is a new phase to improve the customer experience and Google will launch that in the near future. U.S. President Donald Trump announced this week that foreign telco operators are not allowed to work in the U.S. anymore. Uh, of course, this is related to the whole discussion about 5G and Huawei. They're trying to keep Huawei out of the U.S. And if they have a choice, they want to keep Huawei out of uh, allied countries like UK and other European countries. Uh, next to that, they have decided that if foreign telcos want to buy products from U.S. companies, that um, those purchases, those orders have to be approved by the US government. So two things are happening. They're making sure that Huawei does not enter the US with their 5G. And on the other hand, they want to slow them down by making sure they cannot order certain components anymore from uh, US companies. So again, another step in this technology war between China and US, uh, mainly about 5G infrastructure. And as I mentioned uh, last week, um, the key reason is, of course, that the US is lagging behind in 5G technology and that, um, you know, they, they want to make sure that they're not depending on Chinese infrastructure. So I'm really curious what they will do um, to, to motivate their companies to, to speed up their developments in 5G to make sure that they have an alternative for their country. So guys, this was my weekly update. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again next week. Have a great weekend.